CompTIA ITF plus complete training course. Exam Objective 4.3 Explain the purpose and use of programming concepts. Containers In this video, we will build upon the concept of identifiers and learn about containers. Containers are just a special type of identifier and will therefore have many of the same properties as a variable or a constant. Containers will still have a symbolic name that points to a specific location in the computer's memory. And these symbolic names will still help the computer keep track of different pieces of information, referred to as values. So how are these containers different from a standard identifier? Well, they are capable of holding more than one data element at a time. While a standard variable or a constant can only hold one data element at a time, a container can hold one, two, three, or more data elements simultaneously. Great, now we can break this topic down a bit more and focus on two specific container types, the array and the vector. But before I do, a quick disclaimer. For this topic I will be following the terminology and definitions provided in CompTIA's official study guide. Outside of this course, you will find some ambiguity with regards to this topic as each programming language is likely to use slightly different terminology and definitions for arrays and vectors. Okay, so how does CompTIA define an array? An array is a special type of identifier that can reference multiple values. These values can be arranged in a single or multi-dimensional manner, which you can visualize like a table with multiple columns and rows. Additionally, an array will be of a fixed size, meaning you cannot resize it after it is declared. Now how does CompTIA define a vector? A vector is another special type of identifier that can reference multiple values. These values can also be arranged in a single or multi-dimensional manner. But a vector differs from an array in one major way. A vector has the ability to grow or shrink in size. Now let's work with some very simple code starting with the review of a standard variable. In line 1, we declare a variable x by using the code x equals 5. If you recall from the previous video on identifiers, this is called an assignment statement as it assigns an identifier with a value. For this assignment statement, the identifier is x. This is the symbolic name that will be used by the computer to reference the value's stored location in memory. The equal sign here is referred to as an assignment operator as it performs the function of assigning a value, and 5 is the value being stored. Now, in line 2, we have a container. Here the identifier is numList. This is still considered an assignment statement, as it assigns a container with a set of values, in this case the integers 5, 6, and 8. And for one more example, we have a container that is given the identifier animals. This container is assigned multiple string values, specifically cat and dog. So where do you use arrays and vectors outside of my example code? Well, just about any time a program needs to store a set of values. This could include storing a list of items, like the months of the year, or collection of data, like a list of strings containing customer names. And there you have it, the basics of containers with regards to computer programming. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.